Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyler. Welcome to the Ride the Sky channel. Uh, it's my new FP <laughs> my new FPV channel. And uh, I have other YouTube channels with lots and lots of subscribers, but I recently really got into FPV and uh, man, I just love it. I'm just doing it as a hobby. I don't care if this channel grows. I don't care if it gets popular. I actually don't really like managing my other popular channels. Kind of, they're like a boatload of anxiety. But anyway, uh, this is the one that got away. Obviously, this is the DJI goggles view. You know that when somebody gives you the goggles view, what happened? <laughs> This drone got wrecked. Um, I'm using the Lumineer QAV R2. Uh, I got it pretty recently. It's an awesome flying FPV drone. Really enjoy it. Uh, has really good range. And the GPS rescue I've tested out. I've gotten it behind some rocks and it has worked. And it actually worked this time. But uh, unlike the uh, DJI FPV that just stops in its tracks and then rises and then comes to find you, uh, the FPV rescue system on most FPV, uh, like hobby builds, is, you know, it, it won't just stop and then rise up. It will keep going. Anyway, you'll see the footage. But as you can see, absolutely gorgeous sunset uh, FPV dives here. Um, you know, I wish I could get this into real steady and stabilize it, but you can only do that with a GoPro footage. And as you'll see, the GoPro footage was... Uh, the GoPro was completely demolished. Um, everything about it was destroyed. It, it wouldn't power on at all. It took the brunt, luckily, because uh, I could just send it back to GoPro because I'm a GoPro subscriber because uh, I go through them like dirty underwear. I don't know if that was a good analogy, but I go through them a lot <laughs> uh, because uh, my other channel is a motorcycling channel, a dirt biking channel, and um, it, uh, well, let's just say that it's not easy on GoPros, but anyway beautiful sunset. Uh, I live near Zion National Park. And obviously I can't fly in the park, but I can get close to the park. Um, and, you know, there's beautiful red rock formations all over this place. It's not just in Zion that you can find these beautiful areas. So, uh, you know, I'm just kind of flying around here. And uh, there's this cool, big, huge, like, um, unformed arch is what I'll call it. Uh, you can kind of see it there to the leftish. I'm going to go up above it and then dive it. Uh, off the left side but just absolutely stunning the sky and everything the footage from earlier in the day was really really good and I was able to recover all those things because it was a slog I actually hiked to go get it but there's the dive a little flip I don't know why but the QAVR does a little bit of like a stutter if you flip it slow something it doesn't like it whatever I'm doing there it doesn't uh, quite agree with but, uh, you know, I decided to come go in this dish. I was going to go fly right next to the wall after doing a little loop here. Um, but as you can see, right there, I got behind that rock and we're toast. Uh, the drone actually tried to GPS rescue, uh, but there was already too much momentum. And it flew up and out, and it actually flew directly into that wall that you saw in front of you. Uh, but that's the result right there. Um, the GoPro was completely smashed front and back. Uh, it was real bad. Uh, but the drone, surprisingly, wasn't too bad. It bent one of the uh, motor bells, which I just figured out what, that that's what it's called. But yeah, one of the motors, motor bells is bent. Um, uh, one of the standoffs was bent right by the camera. The front camera, the DJI camera, was not hurt at all, which was a surprise. But uh, the connectors on the FPV, DJI FPV air unit were completely snapped off. There was little brass fittings stuck inside the air unit. So I had to search it up on YouTube how to get those out. It ended up that I got a little, a little tiny, tiny screw and screwed them into the brass that was left in the connectors and then uh, just kind of threaded it there and then was able to pull them out. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm in the process of repairing the drone. I just actually bought a new uh, iFlight one of the brand new evokes and so i'm looking forward to see what that can do but man i love flying these drones have a really good time but yeah this is the one that got away the recovery for this uh, drone was pretty crazy um it was a it was an intense hike to go get it because uh, the range on these things is pretty intense and as you as you can kind of figure out you know hiking through the desert and that was sunset uh hiking through the desert in pitch black with nothing but your flashlight uh, on your phone. Anyway, it was a fun recovery. But thank you so much for watching. That was the one that got away. Pretty gnarly crash. My worst by far. Uh, but 
weirdly enough. Um, gosh, it's going to take probably 30 bucks to get this thing back in the air, unlike a DJI uh, FPV, which would cost, uh, you know, 300 bucks just to send it back, and that's if you bought the protection. So anyway, I really like these drones. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.